We've heard from the briefings that you have been giving, a number of issues that you have raised, impediments, NTBs that are blocking. We have had a very good discussion this afternoon. And our ministers have also been engaging for the last two days in a clear attempt to resolve a lot of those issues that affect how you do business, that impede on your businesses. And I'm happy to note that the briefing we got again this afternoon was very encouraging. And we did also agree that what we want to see now is the implementation of those issues that they have discussed, because implementing those is what will make your life much easier. There are a number of other issues I heard here from Kiprono, who was talking about <laughs> us crowding the private sector out of <laughs> the financial markets. It's not our intention to do so. But at the same time, we need to also build our roads. We need to also build our railways. And you know, some of us are also trying very hard to look for alternative sources of financing. But then the very same people are the same ones who are telling us that we are overborrowing from outside. So I don't know whether we borrow locally or whether we borrow outside. In fact, these days when I travel, they say, take away his pen. You know, don't give him his pen. <laughs> He's going to sign away the country. <laughs> I have no intention of signing away the country. I just want to build roads and railways, connect people to power, so that people can do business and we can get prosperity in our country. We are not signing loans for us to come and misuse. It is for the development of our region, for our nations. <laughs> But the man I loved the most was Wekesa. I don't know where he went. Wekesa, come join me in Kenya. <laughs> come tell these poor people, we are tired of politics. We want to do business. We want to trade. <laughs> you are lucky you've come on a, <laughs> on a Wednesday. You should have arrived here on a Friday. You'd be shocked. <laughs> But with those few and many remarks, we are very happy to have you with us, encouraged by what we have heard this afternoon from our ministers. And mine is really to encourage you to do much more together with a promise that we stand ready to support you because your success is our success. We will not be able to fulfill our promises and our obligations to our people if you are not succeeding. So we must make you succeed, because if you succeed, we will have succeeded. 